Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be trying my hand, um, not for the first time, but hopefully for a better attempt at wood burning. So I got this simple little, um, I don't even know what kind of wood this is, circle from Walmart a while back. It was like one of those 99 cents um, wood bits that they have for painting and whatnot and i've used um probably this exact one before on some different projects but i was thinking that it might be nice to actually turn it into a very nicely wood burned piece of art the first time i tried wood burning was probably about a year ago at this point and when i did that one i had actually gotten a pre-stained piece of wood and it made it very difficult to see any of the wood burning in the actual um design and i also did not try really hard on putting everything together. I think because it was my first time, I was just really focused on trying to get the hang of it and seeing what it was like. So I want to redeem myself. I want to show that I can do better and be better. So I found, I'm like really into these like single line drawings right now. And I found an image of a hummingbird online that I thought was really cute that I think I would like to wood burn onto here. And I think it won't be too hard since it's all singular lines. I also think I might go in and color it with some of my Ohuhu markers afterward. Um, and I definitely also want to add like maybe a wreath around the sides just to kind of create something more put together and then add some color just to make like a nice little art piece. Um, it was Nick's idea to do a bird. He said I want. He said he wanted a bird, so I went for a bird. <laughs> um, of course, I really want to make sure that this looks right, so I'm not gonna. I'm trying to create it on paper first and then transfer it onto the wood once I have it exactly the way that I want it. And as such, I think I'm going to start by popping my wood on top of this paper and uh, tracing out the shape of the circle just so that I know uh, where I need to keep everything inside of. Um, and this isn't so bad because I think there's actually like a fun little like swirly tail on the bird that I can like extend here to kind of put it together and then I'll do the wreath around the outside. And then I'm going to do a wood transfer um, specifically with the graphite. I'm going to color on the back, transfer it onto the wood by tracing in. I've done a whole video on this. You can see it up here. Very simple process. And then I can get started on the wood burning. Okie dokie, I think I've gone over all of my design. Now it's time for the reveal and, hmm, it could be darker for sure. But on the bright side, having it this light means that I won't have to erase as much later. So it's still visible. I can definitely tell where I need to go. Um, I feel like it looks more obvious on camera than it does in person. So I might actually have to look into the camera lens to see where I'm going. Um, but yeah, I think this looks just fine. And now it's time to whip out the the tool, the big old wood burning tool. Here is my wood burning tool. This was a gift I got from my boyfriend a hot minute ago. I want to say this was like an anniversary present or a birthday present or something. Um, probably birthday now that I'm thinking back on it. But um, very simple. It's just a little tool that you plug in to the wall. I'm obviously doing this the right way. <laughs> It's got this nice rubberized grip here um, and a bunch of different tips that you can unscrew and put back in depending on the kind of shape that you're trying to make. I will plug it in and I can control the temperature here. I don't think I'm going to go all the way up. I think 400 should be just fine. Um, also because my desk is wood and I don't want to be messing up with any of that. I also like to have an oven mitt on hand um, just to kind of rest it on something that it's not going to burn through. Um, and yeah, I think we're just going to kind of zoom through this and I'll maybe come back and talk about some stuff as we go. And yeah, just enjoy the hyperlapse. Alrighty, I finished the bird. I'm actually gonna let this cool down because I don't know why, but for some reason, the more I use this, the more my um, head bit tool is like 
getting crooked and that's stressing me out. So I'm going to take that one off once this is cooled down and I'm going to replace it with hopefully something similar because I do like that one a lot. I can get the edges. Um, I was able to kind of press down flat to make this eye shape. It was maybe just a little bit too big, but I don't hate it. The only other thing is I see it's a little bit rigid on some of these lines. So I might want to go around and um, like even them out so that they're not so jagged I suppose but other than that I think this is a decent start I'm not mad about it and I think uh, once I even everything out put the backdrop in and add some color that this should actually turn out pretty good so I'm gonna let this cool down switch out the head and I will do the borders all right I actually think I'm gonna switch over to this head which is kind of got like a rounded tip to it which I'm kind of hoping will maybe even out some of this stuff um, or it's going to backfire horribly. I don't know. Haven't figured it out yet. I guess we'll find out. It's actually cooled down pretty quickly, um, like quicker than I remember. And that might be because I have it on a lower temperature setting, but I definitely think 400 is fine. Um, I even think I might like kind of go back in and like add some like shading here-ish um, just to kind of give it a little something else instead of just the lines. Uh, but I'm gonna try this on some of the lines back here and I think it's hot enough that like I can kind of glide over it And it like just kind of barely burns it whereas these ones I was really like going in for it So I'm gonna try a couple different things and I don't know. We'll just see how it turns out All right. Well this previously silver head has turned gold. So I'm assuming that means it's hot now <laughs> So I guess let's just uh, let's Get into this. I actually really want to test out and see if I can kind of even out some of these rickety -er bits Yeah, I'm liking that. All right, time to hyperlapse. Woo! All right, I think this is about where I'm gonna stop with the actual burning of the wood. Um, I ended up finding, I say finding as if I didn't know it was there, but I ended up deciding to use this fun little head um, that kind of looks like a clover or a flower and just kind of adding in some like extra like dark flowers on the outside. I tried to layer them so that you could see like some um, like texture and like different colors. So this one turned out really well and so did this one. This one's okay, and then after a while I just kind of got lazy and just started adding like the singles in certain places. Um, I don't think it looks terrible, I think it adds just a little bit of extra fullness to the outside that I don't think was originally there, so I actually like it. Um, I ended up shading a little bit on the outside of the bird and like where I put these lines originally to kind of do the shading. I think it looks better, I think it makes it look more like a finished piece, and I think it hides a little bit of some of the bumpiness. Um, I definitely like um, this head. Um, I think it's easier because I can use the tip to like draw on it. I can shade with the flat side and I can do some pretty like continuous lines by going on the edge. I think this is the most versatile of the heads and I really do enjoy using those. Um, I think it's so odd that everything discolors when it's like gets hot enough. Um, you can see these two are the ones I've used. I haven't really used a whole lot of the other ones, but at the same time my um, flower I guess didn't really discolor either so I thought that was odd um, I did turn it down a little bit maybe it's just at a certain temp but either way um, I'm kind of happy with how this turned out I think it's time to color I'm thinking like some pink in some of these flowers I kind of want to make the bird like like a purpley blue like an ombre from like top to bottom kind of situation since it looks like a hummingbird and maybe some green in the leaves and that should be it I think I'm going to do six and seven of my ohus just to kind of add a little bit of texture around the flowers. 
As far as the greens go, I think I'm leaning towards like a marshier green, which I think 43 kind of works for that. And like a mintier one, which is like 51, kind of adds a little bit of blue to it, which I think will tie into the colors of the uh, hummingbird pretty well. And for the hummingbird, I'm thinking this combination of blue and purple, 67 to 69 to 73. Um, I liked the like periwinkle kind of vibes that this was given off. And I think that should really be all I'm doing. So I'm gonna hyperlapse through my coloring and come back with my final thoughts. Okay, so I think the dark colors of the purple specifically kind of, I don't wanna say ruined it, but I think it kind of took away some of the detail, which I don't love. I like the blue and I like that I left a little bit of the um, natural wood color and blended that in. I just wasn't super pleased with some of the bleeding that happened around with some of the color, which is kind of sad and disappointing. So I kind of wanted to revitalize it. And I'm kind of hoping that if I go in maybe with this, um, white out pen I can add some details I don't actually have any like white gel pens I think I have like a silver but I don't know if that's the vibe I want to go for here I'm thinking straight white so I think I'm gonna go in towards some of these lines and maybe add in just a little bit of definition back into these shapes and then we'll see All right, well, the whiteout pen didn't work, but I think I took some white acrylic paint and it totally transformed this. Like, I actually like it again. Um, I think maybe if I would have just done some lighter colors, this would have been better from the get, but since I didn't have that um, foresight, I suppose, um, I'm glad I was kind of able to fix it. And I still have a lot of that burnt design in there and I just kind of highlighted it a little bit with the whites, um, except for where you couldn't see it anyway. Um, other than that, I actually think that this turned out really neat, like a kind of cool multimedia, um, very unique piece. I don't necessarily think I see a whole lot of things like this uh, floating around. So yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased with the way it turned out and hopefully you are as well. <laughs> So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes I do art like this um, with different mediums. I like to try new things. I like to uh, kind of branch out and move out of my comfort zone. I do reviews sometimes and sometimes I will create crafts or like functional kind of DIYs and things like that. So if any of that interests you, do hit that like and subscribe button and I hopefully will be seeing you next week in the next one. See ya!